Hey, hey guys, hey. Puffin' and puffin' here. This is my least favorite walk right here because it is like this slow and steady incline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm over here by the embassies. This is Colorado. These are all the embassies. Um, and this is where the Embassy of Brazil, this is where uh, the elites' homes are as well. Um, let me go up here and take a look at the British Embassy. There's a lot of uh, cameras up here and there's people uh, paying their respects and lots of flowers. <laughs> I've actually got a lady walking behind me carrying flowers, walking up there. If they only knew. And, and honestly, you know, I feel bad for these people coming here in the future. I really do because... It's just gonna really be hard for them. I mean, really be hard for them. I pray for this world. So this is, uh, we've been watching this for how long now? I, and, I, and honestly, um, I don't know when this construction began. I don't, it's been going on for a very, very long time. Um, they now have stuff put up, so I can't really see good in there, but they tore this place apart. I mean, they tore, they're putting it back together. Last time I was here, what, it's been a couple months, I think, um, huh, and I uh, happened to talk to one of the guys here that told me it was coming along really well. Um, so... But they tore this place apart. I mean, it, it just was, it was a, such a mess. And I'll go back and I'll get some, um, some screenshots from my initial videos to show you how bad this place really, really was. Um, you know, and they're, they didn't do this to um, all the embassies. There's just a few of the embassies that they are like just doing this too, but this one, this one, I don't know. Were they looking for evidence? I don't know. For you, for those of you who don't know, yes, the queen had hunting parties with children and they had children disappear out of their care and they had, they have apparently boys' penises like on plaques hanging in Buckingham Palace. I mean, it's really, really that bad people. No, we don't like it, but it, you know, it is what it is. But, so this is the residence, the British Embassy residence. So, what happened in here? I don't know. Here's the other part of it here. And they did massive construction here as well. Let's take a walk up here and see uh, what's going on. And the um, Naval Observatory is literally right there across the street. Can't see a whole lot on it. And it's a great big piece of land. Completely surrounded by cameras, big fencing, you name it. As it should be. But that's where it is. <laughs> and we're about, I guess it's about a mile up that way and to the right to the National Cathedral. So, British Embassy. Let's see. <clears throat> I 
do not know who these people are. Are they doing tours? I do not know. Masks, of course. In the beautiful outdoors, the fresh, clean air and masks. Those are the people we have to worry about right there. At least in my opinion. And the ones that are driving with a mask on. Let me tell you, 95% of the time I see an idiot doing something in a car, they're wearing a mask. Just It's just how it is. So yeah, this is... I guess maybe they're going in. I don't know. These... Observatory. This is one of the gates. Can't see good service here. They're always here. But that's one of the gates. And I guess about a half a mile up the street, there's another one that goes in. But yeah. That's where that is. Good grief, huh? It's only a matter of time now. It's only a matter of time now. It just makes me absolutely nauseous to think about the children and how very, very proud I am to have been called a conspiracy theorist and tortured and attacked basically for the last three years over all of this because I know in my heart I didn't turn a blind eye to the children. Uh, in my normal, quote-unquote, little life, when I was presented with information that went against everything that I believed in, I took the time to find out if that was true. And I was attacked by people who turned a blind eye. Their egos were so big, and they just knew everything. So shame on you out there who did that to me. And you'll have to live with that, not me. And they have some massive freaking cameras in there. Look, I ain't going to try to be all going to jail today, but look at those cameras. Massive cameras in there. Let me tell you what. And that's, like, you have to go through that to go anywhere. Yep. All right, well... I'm going to go back in and find my uh, initial videos of this. I can't remember the first time. It's been a long time <coughs> since the first time I've been here. So I'll go back and find some, uh, some pictures and reshare them. So, all right, y'all. Well, 
think I'm going to ride over here real quick to uh, see what's up with, uh, I think it's called Belmont is where Obama's house is. I'm going to go over there and check it out and uh, just see what's going on over in that area. If I can even get a look at anything, they've got it. Well, they have had it closed off and I don't know if they sold that. The um, one place that I went into the yard, that was, um, I think that's the uh, Embassy of Ireland. And I know that they were selling that place. So maybe, I don't know if they sold it or not. So I may not be able to do anything there. And once again, not trying to go to jail today because probably wouldn't see a commissioner until Monday. <laughs> and I got plans this weekend, so... <laughs> I'm trying to do that one. So. All right, guys. Well, I love y'all bunches. Um, I'm going to go do that, and I'll swing through the government district again one more time just to see, you know, what's going on there. And if uh, you don't hear from me, I'll let you know when I'm home in a couple hours because it'll definitely take that long today, a couple hours to get home from where I'm at. So I love you guys, and I'll see you later.